in this video i'm going to be sharing a good news with you it's something that's going to start from 4th of april 2024 i know there has been a lot of bad news and things that would not favor most foreigners or employers but in this video i'm going to be sharing one of the uk immigration policy that i feel is very very positive and i'm so excited about this if you're meeting me for the first time my name is cynthia i share information that will help your transition abroad to be as smooth as possible i share information about settling working or studying in the uk us or canada if any of these countries interest you please subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so that anytime I drop a new video, you know it's time to watch Cynthia Academy. And without wasting time, let's get into this video. In this video, I'm so, so, so happy about this because it's going to help a lot of people who are on the skilled worker visa route and it can introduce a, a bit of flexibility for them. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the old policy so that you can understand what the changes are now if you check out this government website i'm going to put the links to all these things in the description so that you can go and read it you know i always put the links in the description for you so that you can you know take your time and digest it but this video i'm going to share exactly how it appears on the government website so i can understand it better it says taking on additional work if you work overtime in the job you are being sponsored for you do not need to update your visa there is no limit to how many hours of overtime you can do you can also work up to 20 hours a week in another job or for your own business as long as you are still doing the job you are sponsored for it's very clear we know that you are allowed to work as many hours as possible with your current employer on a skilled worker visa you can work overtime can work 60 hours i don't know how many people that can work up to 80 hours but you can do that but when it comes to working for another job you can only work for up to 20 hours a week and they said your work must be either in the same occupation code at the same level as the job you are being sponsored for in a shortage occupation as you can see the current rule says that if you're going to take up another job it should be only for 20 hours and it should be on a occupation code that is similar to the one that you are doing or maybe it should be on the shortage occupations list this has limited some people who maybe are passionate about healthcare to go into data analysis or going into something it or in any other occupation that is not similar to the code they are being sponsored for the good news is that with the new immigration policy especially the one published on the statement of changes in immigration rules march 14th 2024 on page 8 it says in paragraph 6.2 b for the definition of supplementary employment substitutes supplementary employment means employment in a job other than the job for which the person is being sponsored, which either A, appears in appendix immigration salary list, just like the previous one said shortage occupations list, but this time around it's saying immigration salary list, and we know that it has been shrinked from 55 occupations to 21 occupations. But let's read for that. They said, or is in the same profession and at the same professional level as the job for which the person is being sponsored in the previous law it says the same thing that it should be in the same profession or the same occupation code c if the person has permission as a skilled worker is in an eligible soc 2020 occupation code listed in tables one two or three of appendix skilled occupations and i took the liberty to just go through table one two or three that's the soc 2020 and i am so amazed there is a variety of occupations you can choose for so if you are currently working and you want to take up another job you can explore any of those occupations on that list so this is something you have to look out for but you remember it's going to take off from the 4th of april 2024 and please do not just rush and start doing it wait for the law to be changed wait for the whole system to change before and see it clearly on the government website before you just start you know 
taking up another job for 20 hours in an occupation that is different from your own occupation just take your time but i felt that it's very important that i share this news it also says that provided in all cases the person remains working for the sponsor in the job for which the certificate of sponsorship records the person is being sponsored for so you cannot just go and take up 20 hours somewhere without working for the person you the main person you are being sponsored for do you understand you cannot just walk off and say i'm going into data analyst you know for 20 hours you have to still be in that occupation unless you want to entirely switch your visa the other employment does not exceed 20 hours per week and takes place outside of the hours when the person is contracted to work for the sponsor in the job for which the person is being sponsored. This one is very clear. So if you are sponsored to be a carer in a particular place where you are working for maybe 37.5 hours a week, it's saying that you should not exceed 20 hours in that other occupation that is you are picking up. Do you understand? You shouldn't exceed 20 hours. And you should work outside the hours at which you spend as a carer so this is very very clear i really commend this because it this flexibility will help other people who want to transition maybe after their indefinite leave to remain you want to do something else you want to transition into another career is an opportunity for you to explore maybe you have tech skills and you just want to stay in that visa and you get paid for working 20 hours maybe as a software engineer or maybe as a business analyst or a developer uh, solutions person or engineer just imagine so much for you to explore there is no excuse for you again you know the the problem is that for many care workers there is this struggle that when they reach their indefinite leave to remain period and they want to transition into something else it might be very difficult for them to transition because they've been a carer for five solid years but with this you can start working in a new occupation code that's as long as it's under the soc 2020 and that list is beautiful it's so so beautiful i just felt i should share this news with you remember to like share and subscribe and also go through this document i told you it's page eight and page nine go through this document read it for yourself do not start anything until the system has been updated on 4th of april and everything has been clarified the fresh document they're going to upload just do not start anything but it's an exciting news i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to your fantastic transitions i i know that a lot of things are going to go through as an yeah i know many people that need this seriously and i felt i should share it with you just see you in my next video bye bye